Ketchikan is located at the southern entrance of the Alaska Inside Passage and is the salmon capital of the world. Ketchikan offers many opportunities to experience Alaska native culture and to walk through a beautiful historic Alaska town, see salmon and harbor seals in the middle of the city, hike through the Tongass Rainforest, and see amazing Alaskan wildlife. Hi y'all, I'm Jeff. And I'm Becky. And together we're a cruising good time. If you like this video, please give us a like and subscribe. We love going to Ketchikan. There are so many things to do. Your cruise ship may offer up to 45 excursions, but one of the best activities is just to get off the ship and walk around. Oh, by the way, if you're cruising on NCL, you will have to take longer to get over to the city. For everybody else, you can get off the ship and walk around. Yeah, it's a great town to walk around. It's very colorful. It's got a lot of wooden sidewalks. It's just a lot of fun to take in that whole culture and ambience. Yes, and we love walking up to Creek Street. And as the name suggests, there's a creek that comes through there from the ocean, and it will give you the opportunity to see salmon. And where there's salmon, you have the opportunity to see harbor seals. Yeah, I think it's a lot of fun to sit there and watch those <laughs> seals, uh, the salmon just kind of laying there. And here comes a seal, kind of flush them all around and see all the movement. It's a, I think it's kind of fun to watch. Yeah, me too. And another really cool thing is you keep walking up, you can see a salmon ladder. They have a very large salmon ladder in town and I can sit there and watch it for hours. Yeah, it's a lot of fun because they got a big waterfall right there and they got the salmon ladder kind of parallel to it. So you can kind of see the competition, if you will, between the two <laughs> and you know which guys always cheer for them to get almost to the top and then just miss that last thing and come all the way back down to the bottom. So you kind of cheer them on, if you will. It really gives you the opportunity to see what a challenge it is for these salmon to go upstream. There is so much more to see and do around the city. I really enjoy all the totem poles and different things with the Alaskan native culture. Yeah, and there's a lot of other artworks, a lot of sculptures and all right there on, along the pier. It's a lot to take in right there. It's a lot of history to kind of take in, and there's some uh, placards to read about the history of uh, Ketchikan, which is really a lot of fun. We also enjoy going to different places that offer food. One of the ones we did last time was... The Jellyfish Donut is right across the street from the uh, cruise ship pier, I think by three or four uh, down there is where, where it was. And they offer both the savory and the sweet donuts. We had the savory salmon donut which sounds kind of interesting is actually very good and then they had the traditional sweet type donuts had one of those is very good I, I would prefer a sweet donut to a savory one and along the waterfront there are amazing places to stop maybe have a beer watch locals do things we saw a lot of people jumping in and swimming when we've been there another fun activity they offer it's a little campy but is the lumberjack show that's a lot of fun a lot of athleticism right there and it's easy to get to because it's literally right there by the cruise ships you can walk right over to it it's you know five ten minute walk uh the shore excursions will put you in a bus sometimes take you down there but it's easy to get to you and buy your tickets online or through the cruise ship they're pretty much the same price either way and uh, i enjoy it it's kind of a fun thing to take in yeah they really do a great job getting the audience all excited and into the mood and it is an amazing display of athleticism yep it's, it's a really amazing to watch what those lumberjacks can do I love many of the activities that you can do in the Ketchikan, but my first recommendation would be to do the Rainforest Sanctuary Nature Walk and Totem Park excursion. That is a lot of fun. It's just a little bit south out of town there. You get to walk through the, the rainforest, as the name indicates, and you have a guide that explains all the different uh, foliage and fauna as you go through there, which is a lot of fun to kind of take that all in. I learned quite a bit there on that uh, short excursion about it all, so it, I really enjoyed that. But I think the best part is when you get through the rainforest part, you go right there by a open area with some creek, a lot of salmon, and of course where you have a lot of salmon, you're going to have some bears and some eagles. And we saw bears and eagles and salmon, obviously, all on that one short excursion. It was really a lot of fun. Yeah. So one of the things about Alaska is there are a lot of bears but when they're putting shore excursions, one of their goals is that the bears don't eat the tourists. So there's, they're trying to keep you in safe distances. So the wonderful thing about this is they can have you walk and be close to bears, but you're safe because you're up on a boardwalk away from them. So after the nature walk, you get to go and you get to see a Native American who is currently working on a totem pole. And he's going to tell you some about what he's working on and the story behind the totem pole. And that is very cool and beautiful. 
and uh, you end up at a totem pole park, so you get a chance to really enjoy some of that beautiful Native American artwork. I, it gives you a great appreciation for the amount of labor it takes to make these uh, really beautiful uh, totem poles out there because it's, it takes a lot, several months, a lot of work, and it's a labor of love for them to get it in there. It's really amazing. The Rainforest Sanctuary also has a place to do zip lining. You know how much I love that. So you could put a day together where you get to do the zip lining as well as the nature hike and be able to see the fabulous rainforest and that wonderful wildlife. Another short excursion we really like to do is Wilderness Cruise, Silver Lodge, and Seafood Feast. This is a lot of fun. You go, I uh, get on a, a boat. They take you out by some islands out there. We, they brought us by an island where there was a nest of some bald eagles. We got to see those bald eagles and then go on out to a fishing lodge uh, there just north of town. Had a fabulous seafood feast on there. Great food. Um, I love seafood uh, boils anyway. Really a lot of good time. Oh, I absolutely loved it. In addition to all the seafood feast, fabulous boat ride, we also had a wonderful walk through the rainforest, mm -hmm. saw some ancient, gorgeous old trees, saw some deer. It was a fabulous experience that made you uh, feel like you're in the wilderness of Alaska. Those deer were really neat because they would walk just right up there by the, uh, the walkway there. You could see them very clearly right there between the walkway and the water. And it's a lot of fun to sit there and watch them. There's a lot of nature on that one and some really good food too. Yeah, it is an absolutely fantastic time. One thing Ketchikan is known for is it's the salmon capital of the world, and they have a lot of shore excursions for fishing. If you're a fisherman, my dad has done a couple of these there in Ketchikan. He limits out right away. You can go for halibut. You can go for some salmon, and it's just a lot of fun. He really enjoys uh, going out there and doing that fishing there in Ketchikan. The guides will uh, take the salmon. They'll fillet it, they'll freeze it, they'll ship it to your house, and they'll ship it at a time so that you're back home. So if you're going to be cruising for a while, it didn't just show up on your doorstep and thaw. <laughs> they'll coordinate the day that for the arrival that way too, so you'll have that fresh salmon when you get back home. Many of these shore excursions will also cook and allow you to eat your fish you just caught during the excursion. And some that are booked through the ship will also allow for the ship to cook your food and serve it at dinner. We have sat next to a table where they had had so much fish that they actually offered some of their fish. Yeah, it was delicious. <laughs> yeah, they'd caught a, a salmon that day and it, the chef had prepared it there on the ship and they had so much of it, they're offering it to the tables around there. And it was yummy. I tell you what, it was yummy. <laughs> Alaska is also a wonderful place to take seaplane excursions. They have a lot of different excursions. It may go out for fishing or for opportunities to see wildlife, but just another terrific way to get into the wilderness. One of the wonderful things about cruising to Ketchikan is it's a very long day and you can string together several shore excursions. And we love to end our day walking through town, stopping somewhere, maybe getting a beer or a cocktail. Yep. Yep, it's a lot of fun there taking the whole ambiance. I really like watching around Ketchikan. Ketchikan is also a great port to, if you're up early in the morning, watch the captain bring you in or at, on the sail away. You have scenery on both sides of the ship, so it's really a lot of fun to take in that way too. We've hoped you've enjoyed our video. If you liked the video, please give us a like and subscribe. Turn on those notifications. It really helps us out. Until next time, have a cruising good time.